Hi, I'm so glad you dropped by for today's sample cards that you too can create and be inspired. My name is Linda Fippen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. Today I was over at my grandkids' house looking after them and I was telling my oldest grandson how nervous it is to do these videos, something I've not ever done before. And uh, he said, Nana, just think that you're talking to me or one of your other family members and just relax. So I'm going to give that a try. The other thing I wanted to say is that I, um, this is take two. I had done the entire video and for some reason my video or my computer just stopped and I looked over at it and it said storage is full. So um, I've had practice doing this so let's hope that I can do a better job tonight and uh, thank you again for dropping by and let's enjoy some creativity. Let's get started. I just put the zoom here so you can see So the cards that we're going to make today are from the Dandy Garden Suite. One of the stamp sets comes with dandelions. The other is dragonflies. And uh, there are some samples. These are the, the two suites up here. The dandelions come with a lot of dyes that were lots of fun. I've used some of them. And the um, dragonfly comes with a punch. So um, it's great. It's great. So that's, uh, again, here's some, here's some samples of some of the, uh, the sentiments and what goes with it and some sample cards that uh, goes with this. And uh, so I'm going to show you tonight some samples that I've put together. So let's see if we can get started. This is what the, um, the punch looks like, and it does too. And I've made some samples here. These are from the designer paper. So you, can, you don't even have to stamp them. So that, that's a lot of fun. And I've used designer paper, so let's get started here. The first card that we're going to do is with the, the punch and the background is laser cut pieces that are already designed for you but and they're they're white so I thought that I would like to use the ombre paper that we had um, during celebration and do a reverse ombre on the laser cut. So this is one of them that comes, you can buy them all together. And this was another one, another sample <laughs> that I did. Um, so there's, I think, four of them all together. So what, uh, what we're going to do right now is use, let me see, I'll show you. Two laser cuts, one's with some flowers and one's with some more dandelions. That's not dandelions, <laughs> that is dragonflies. So Let's try the dragonflies and, and I'll show you how I did that. And also when I was doing it, I did it so that we didn't waste any ink and I did the ombre. So let me just, let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about because withering on here doesn't make any sense. So I just 
so I'm not going to let me just move my camera a little bit here. Maybe it's the zoom just a second, I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. I didn't have it down far enough. Okay, so I put a little of this um, glue dot runner. It it has dots on it, so it's not uh, it's not a full um, adhesive. So I did that just so that I don't move it, and then I did the same thing on my dragonflies. Okay, so the, the paper that's underneath is going to be the paper that we're going to put on the inside of the card. I'm going to do this on Blackberry Bliss, one of my favorite colors. I just love this color. And our blending brushes. So just tap off a little bit on your on a scrap paper so it, you don't get a big blob. And let's see, we're going to do the darker on the top. So I'm going to start there first. And ombre is darker and it, it just goes into a very light shade, which is it's a beautiful idea. Very nice effect. Okay, just a little bit more on the top so that we get it nice and dark. Okay, so when you lift this off, underneath we have dragonflies for the inside of our card. Don't you think that's clever? I thought it was. So I'm going to put this right away on the inside of the card. Even though there's a little bit of adhesive on there, it's not enough. So that is the inside of the card. One second here, I'll just get this on a little straighter. And I'm going to put that right in the inside. Inside of the card done. Then I cut the ombre card and I like the idea of the ombre going one way on the designer series paper and the da the dragonflies going the other way. It there's just a nice contrast. So that's what I am going to do. So put some glue on the wings. Okay. So the dark at the top the white on the bottom for our laser cut and the opposite from our oh so ombre designer paper. I put another gold piece on here. This color with gold is just stunning. Just stunning. Okay. 
my finger is sticky. That's okay. So there's the front of the card. And what I did with the punch is put gold dragonflies on it and the sentiment. And I think we'll use some dimensions to give it some height. inspiration. Wouldn't that be a nice card to get in the mail? Someone thinking you're an inspiration. Now I didn't put any gems or anything else on the card because I think all the, the gold just really sets it off and is very quite, very, very quite, very lovely. So there we go, our first card. All right. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. So put that down. Our second card that we're going to make tonight is with the dandelion designer paper. And mossy meadow. And a, two stamps. And this is the card. Just saying hello. And the designer paper, which is quite nice when you're trying to make a really quick card, or it's just nice to use because it has lots of designs on it. So that is the outside. And the inside is just some stamps and some die cuts. So let's put this one together. So these first two cards are, are quite simple and easy to do, easy and fun to do. So let's see how much I can get mixed up here. So I I put it on a Knight of Navy background. And this is a designer paper that has the bumblebee on one side and the Blackberry Bliss on the other. But we're going to use the Bumblebee. And I'm going to put the first layer on. And as I get more organized, I will be putting out sizes, measurements. Um, I'm working on that. That's a goal that I am going to accomplish very shortly. So just be patient with me. 
I have a piece of foam that I'm going to put on the back of this to give it some dimension. This is craft foam. Um, it comes in big sheets. And when you're doing a big piece, it is very nice. You wouldn't want to use it for smaller pieces because you'd be cutting it up forever. But uh, let's make sure I get this on the right way. Okay, so I took some of the designer paper from. Um, the same design paper it's all all the the same color and i'm going to put the sentiment on here part of the die cuts is this really you can put together a d actual dandelion now, dandelions, if you've seen fields of dandelions, are beautiful. Maybe not so much on your front lawn, but, you know, I guess we need to be thinking differently about our environment and maybe not be so hard on the dandelion population so that we can have bees. because there seems to be a lot of a lot of enemies towards the bees now and we're not having them being populated as well as many things are changing but we can do our part maybe growing flowers in your garden that would attract bees and butterflies Okay, so there is four layers of that particular, and that's the die that I cut up. Whoops. And also, there are dandelion leaves and grass that can be added to your card. Now, my mom, who I mentioned last week, is 93 and she loves to go out in her garden and get herself some dandelions the leaves and she cooks them up and eats them so i told her to you know help herself to as many dandelions as she would like now apparently the spring is the only time when they're the best and you know tender and I guess it's a whole a whole um, a whole preference not my preference but anyway that's her preference so that's okay and if you live to 93 eating dandelion leaves hey maybe we're all missing something so in this set as well are these really cute ladybugs but uh, irresistible. They're good for your garden as well. Oh, here it is. So I just used a glue dot. Put it on the Now, I'm not sure if that's going to make that too thick to put in the mail, but if it does, uh, you, it could go somewhere else. The sentiment that I used on this card is just saying hello. So I'm going to put some tiny dimensions on this one. 
And you see hello on the back. That's because I made a mistake. Just turned it over and stamped it again. Works very good. Now, we have a dandelion. Or these poor dragonflies keep calling them dandelions. I have a dragonfly to put on here. This one I stamped and embossed on the night of meeting. And then just while well, that's drying, let's just stamp the inside of our card with night of oh no with uh, mossy meadow. I was looking for the wrong color. So the nice thing about inside of cards is that really you can put anything you want. You can put it as big as you want. It just adds a little interest. Let's just put a few in here. There we go. And this would be the time that I would do the envelope, but I, because I've had lots of practice, I have it done already. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so then we'll just glue this on our back. And glue this in so you can add whatever message you would like. There's lots of room to do that. And if you don't have a lot of words to say, you could put more stamps and cover it up and just have a little greeting in there. So there we are, card number two. Quick and simple. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Now our third card is, I think it's just my favorite for sure. And it's white and navy. And I've put a circle and lined up two stamps so that they line up in exactly. So uh, that's, uh, I really enjoyed doing this one. It turned out quite nice. So I, I used the Stamparatus. Once you get the hang of the Stamparatus, it's really, um, really awesome. So I have the card cut out and we're going to use Knight of Navy. So I've lined it up. The reason it's upside down is so that it can securely fit in the corner. So I know exactly uh, where it is and I don't have to remember measurements. So this is not a dandelion. It is a lovely daisy from the daisy family. Looks quite pretty. Okay. 
lots of detail in it and you could easily do some coloring in it but I wanted everything to be just white and navy so that is going to be the outside of our card There it is. <laughs> and this will be the inside and I made it exactly the same so that I can um, trim it later but I wanted to make sure that it was on the same side of the card for the inside. And again, the nice thing about using the Stamparatus is that if you want it darker, it will always line up, which is fantastic. So there we go. So I'll get this out of the way. So we have the outside of the card and the inside of the card. So the trick is to get it all lined up. So I did a little bit of work ahead of time. So I used the circle to cut out the flower. And this here you can use for future cards, future creations. So now we've got the outside of the card. And just so that you can see, it lines up very nicely. So you just have to get it in the inside of the card like that. So I think we'll work on the inside first so that we know we've got it where we want it. So I have three layers. This is um, a package from the designer series that goes with this suite as well. And there's a lovely coil on the other side, but I quite fancy the navy stripes. So let's just get this lined up here and see if we can make it work. I made this background a little bit bigger, the first layer of stripes, a little bit bigger so that you would get more stripes, see more of it. And um, I like the way it turned out. Okay. So I hope that I've got this right. Okay, so it needs to go over. I must have made this the exact same size, which is perfect. A voila on that one for sure. So there we go. We got it lined up. Isn't that quite pretty? Looks very nice. Okay, so on the outside, I put um, a strip of navy, and it's only about an inch. So we've got one stripe strip of navy. That didn't quite go where I wanted it. There we go. Then uh, I think this is three quarters of an inch. White and navy really looks nice together. Okay, so we've got 
action back on our card. We have a dragonfly that we can put here. I like to bend up one side of that so it gets some dimension. And I think one could put a little dimensional back there to give it a little encouragement. What do you say? There, you can still put that up there. And then I have three or two more of the little guys. One there. One there. Now, when I did this, I didn't like that this was so big, this um, backing for the sentiment. So I cut it in half and stuck it right in the corner there with my sentiment that says sending happy thoughts. And this particular, the other sentiments are from the sets that I use today the dragonfly and the dandelion. This one is from that set where um, it's called Mini Messages and it has um, them already cut out. I was just uh, wanting to have something really quick. Okay, so we've got these on here. Then I found in the catalog, let me just put this on here, give it a little bit of white on each side. Should put that on first. I think after doing all these cards as many times as I have, <laughs> that I would know which way to put it, but not today. Okay, I found in the catalog these rhinestones. They're holiday rhinestones, but the blue is what I was looking for. So I'm uh, going to use these brown or blue shiny ones. So let's put one there. Nice big one down here. One more. All right here. So there is our card number three. So I rather enjoyed doing that. And actually I enjoyed doing all three of them because um, the stamp site sets very nice to work with the cards. All three of them are quite easy to do. And don't forget to do your envelope, which I forgot to do. So let's just take the stamp set out in here, or the stamp apparatus, and just do a quick one. Just put it in here. Maybe we don't want the whole thing on there. There we go. Envelope done. Completed. Our 
our three cards that we did tonight. The Navy. The Bumblebee. And the Ombre. So those are our three cards we did tonight. And I had done one earlier that had the Ombre with um, forgot the name of the color right now, but it's just black and what was it? I don't know. Rocco Rose, that's it. So that again, a very simple, delightful card. And those are our cards tonight. If you enjoyed this video and some ideas, please leave me a um, a message let me know that uh, uh, that you had some ideas or some suggestions and certainly feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos even though um, I'm late today I try to do them on Wednesday but like I mentioned earlier my computer ran out of storage but my son fixed it for me so thankful for him thank you for my to my grandson for his words of wisdom and thank you to you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next week. Bye for now.